A logo usually communicates all the essence of something in, in, in a very short amount of time. But I believe the more abstract and unique it is, the better chance it has of communicating. Hi, I'm Mark Wynn. I'm a designer and a painter. Today we're going to draw a logo or make a logo, design a logo, conceive a logo. We're going to create a logo. To start off with a uniqueness about it is a goal. Everybody wants to be in their own little world and set apart from the rest of the products and the people and everything around them. I want to find what it is about me that I want to say or, or put out there that's recognizable as a logo. I already have a logo for myself, but I'm going to redesign a logo for myself. A personal logo is going to evolve. That there's, there's no way around it. Now that I live in the woods, I'm not about the city anymore. I'm not about that street scene. I'm more about uh, living in the redwoods. Look at all the words associated, and I look at all the things that could be usable in, in a concept way, and I write those down. The old logo is just you know pretty standard. I don't want to modernize it into like all these things here. There's an owl that, uh, as I work at night, is constantly going, hoo, hoo, hoo. I want to work that into uh, my logo as it exists now. In the, in the sketch phase, this would go over the course of like weeks. You may have page after page after page of different iterations on what you want to do. Something kind of moves you within it. You're like, okay, those four from the 20 that you draw in pencil, those four I can take to the computer. There's a couple ways you can do that if they're complex and there's really some subtleties and you nailed it with the pencil drawing. You can take a photo with your phone and just put it on Adobe Illustrator and then trace it. Or what I do often is I just redraw it in Illustrator. Okay, we're getting something. It doesn't look too much like Batman. Oh, very important to hit save. Illustrator is so powerful. You can go through a lot of studies uh, on one style of one concept. And so I usually blow that out in a straight line. I, I draw from left to right. and I, I start with the first concept logo I did. And then I'm like, oh, if I made the eyes more glowy. So I go to the next one and I fix just that aspect. I'm like, oh, the shape is, is kind of clunky. So then I go to the next one, I fix that. And so there is kind of a Darwin evolutionary process of where I was as I go. And you can always go back, and that's the beautiful thing with digital age, you know, you can go back and like, oh, this part I like still. So you just take and steal that part, put it with this part, and then you can start Frankensteining the pieces of it. So you get to the end to where you kind of like it, and somewhere in there I kind of add colors sometimes, and, and then I take it out and I just do black and white, or I do gray scale. I work that out all the way through to where I'm like, I'm exhausted on that logo. I just, I don't want to look at it anymore, it's horrible. Then I go to the next concept and I, and I work that one through. It's easier to start with a typeface and then outline that typeface with the computer and then adapt and make it something your own. Illustrator has a ton of tools that will help you. You can take a straight drawing of this and turn it into, you know, that. It's gonna be, you know, symmetrical, so just draw one side and then flip it. You know, fix the wings refine the things. You can spend days, you know, like sometimes I just sit on it, I look at it for a while, then I come back to it. So the one last thing I'd say is like, that looks great on its own, but let's think about what if we would do to put it in a shape. So we could put it in a circle, you know, is that something that isn't going to make your logo work better so that you can always have white inside or, you know, what it, whatever to make it pop. But I'm thinking more, you know, like you try to do, make the shape more your own. There is no right or wrong. Everything is right. Um, there's only, you know, in the end, are you happy with it? If you're doing it for yourself, that's the only thing that matters. Now go out there and create a logo about yourself and share it with KQED Art School. I'm sorry, I can't say KQED. <laughs> KQED Art School. There.